Tell me a company secret that you can share because you don't work there anymore. This is still hard for me to talk about, but for three years I was the night shift charge counselor of the largest detox in Colorado. And while I was there, I saw clients that were there regularly, every day, almost. And uh, every time they were admitted, they were given the same assessment over and over again as if they had never been there before and we didn't already know the answers and their chart wasn't full of the same assessment they got the same assessment every time how many times do you think someone can get that assessment and then be discharged the next day go out and drink and then come back the next night how many times do you think they can get that assessment before Someone just takes a step back and says, hey, why don't we do something different? How are we billing for these initial assessments so many times? How many times? A dozen? Two dozen? Three dozen? Hundreds. There are people that have been to the detox hundreds of times receiving the same assessment over and over again. And I left that system because it was killing my clients. I used my authority to put five-day holds on clients, and then on the next shift, other counselors would lift that hold, allowing my clients to go out and drink some more. And in that time, some of them died. That's why I left. I got real pissed. And I came to understand that the reason why this happens is because Medicaid pays better for initial assessments than it does for other ways we could handle the problem. So they just keep doing initial assessments over and over again every time a homeless person is admitted to the detox. The top three clients that I saw with uh, intake numbers had more than a thousand intakes. I'm not sure uh, who the leaders are now because, uh, well, my top three are dead. <laughs>